What you have to do is there are there are very simple and uh, very easy tips you have to do to avoid COVID nineteen. You have to wash your hands at least for twenty seconds. You have to maintain a safe distance from everyone. You have you are not supposed to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. You have to cover your nose and mouth with your elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. You have to stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention. Follow the directions of your local health authority. Today we are going to uh, learn chapter number two, that is computer hardware. So, what is computer hardware? I know that hardware is a very new word for you, but I'm going to tell you about computer hardware. First of all, look at this picture. What is this? Is this a part of computer? No, this is a mobile phone. This is not any part of computer. So this is not computer hardware. Computer hardware is any part of computer that you can touch or with the or with with or with the help of which you can do any work okay now my question is that how many parts of computer are there do you know that how many parts of computer are there excellent there are many parts of computer monitor cpu keyboard mouse scanner printer these all are the parts of computer and parts of computer are also known as computer hardware is that clear what is computer hardware all the parts of computer are known as computer hardware excellent now i'm going to give you an example look at this picture what uh, what i have shown you in this picture they are parts of body and the purpose of showing you this picture is that as all of you know that without any part of body or uh, if uh, you are not uh, if your any part of body is not uh, working properly then it's impossible for you and for your body to do any work right similar is the case with the computer if any part of computer is missing or is not working properly it's impossible for us to do any work on computer because our computer will not work properly without its all parts so computer hardware is very important all the parts of computers are very important okay now look here this is page number 10 of your book before i start reading you have to write date on the top of the page and today is 30th june computer hardware is any part of the computer that you can touch as i have told you all these things in previous slides but i am showing you this uh, this page of your book so it's easy for you to do reading with along with me computer hardware is any part of the computer that you can touch a computer has many parts a monitor the cpu in the system unit a keyboard a mouse a scanner and a printer all of these parts are computer hardware okay now i will i'm going to tell you about the monitor what is monitor monitor looks like a tv screen it shows us that what the computer is doing whatever you are doing in the computer you can see it on the monitor if you are playing game if you are typing anything if you are drawing a picture you can easily see that all stuff on the monitor in front of you so the information that we see on computer is soft copy of data all the data which we see on the computer is known as soft copy okay now look at the picture given below 
what what the wiz is doing he is watching the information on the, given on the monitor so with the help of monitor it is very easy for us to do to see each and everything which is going on in the computer this is page number 12 and on page number 12 um they also tell us about the monitor and now i am reading this page so that you can read with along with me the monitor the monitor looks like a tv screen it shows us what the computer is doing the information that we see on a monitor is a soft copy of our data okay now i'm going to tell you about the cpu what is cpu cpu stands for central processing unit CPU is also known as computer's brain. CPU prepares and processes data. CPU stores all data. Okay, now, uh, as I have told you in previous lesson about data, or each and everything which we type or which we, uh, if we draw any picture or if we save, if we save any picture or if, if we save any other uh, data which we collect from internet all these things are known as data now they are telling us that where we save or feed our data so we feed our whole data in the cpu cpu controls all data that goes from one part of the computer to the other now look at the page number 13 of your book on page number 13 it's all about cpu but uh, you have to read with me the cpu inside the system unit is the computer's brain cpu stands for central processing unit the work that computer does is all, is called processing all the work that is done into computer that we have done into computer after that computer will save all that data in the cpu and all that process of uh, when the data is saving that all process is known as processing the cpu prepares and processes data it controls and stores the data that goes from one part of the computer to the other now before giving you a homework i'm going to summarize the whole lesson once again so our today's topic is computers hardware so what is computer hardware all the parts of computer that we can touch are known as computer hardware there are many parts of computer monitor cpu keyboard mouse scanner printer all of these are parts of computer then i have give you an example of parts of body that as we as our body can't work properly without any part of body any part like our body can't work if uh, if our hand is not working properly or if our arm is not working properly it's impossible for our body to do any work is that clear so similar is the case with the computer that if any part of computer is not working properly it's impossible for us to do any work on computer then we did reading of page number 10 then i've told you about monitor that what is monitor monitor looks like a tv screen each and everything what we whatever we do on computer we can easily see uh, we can easily see it on the monitor on the screen then i've told you about cpu that cpu is also known as brain of computer because each and every data is feed in cpu and it control all the data basically cpu control whole system of computer okay now i'm going to give you homework this is a page number 11 of your book and what you have to do is you have to color the objects that are computer hardware okay there are there are eight eight pictures given in the in this page and you have to color the computer hardware you have to think that which part in this uh, which part uh, given in these pictures are the part of computer if you think that this is a part of computer then simply color it 
on next week i will uh, help you to solve this page but till then you have to think by your own self and solve this page and uh, Part two of your homework is that you have to unscramble the letters and write the name of the computer hardware. Now there are uh, let, uh, there are words four words given below, uh, but their letters are not arranged. But they are the names of the computer hardware. Okay. Now you have to think that which um, which is the first word. and which computer hardware is this and then you have to arrange the letters and you have to write the arranged word in uh, in the lines given in front of these letters is that clear good luck class till next week and thank you so much stay safe and stay home